Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, I'll walk you through how to launch and set up the MCP server inside Pabli Connect, use Cloud AI as AI agent, and show you a simple real-world example as well. Before moving forward towards learning the entire process, first of all, let's discuss what is MCP. So MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It is a powerful feature inside Pabli Connect that is recently launched that allows you to integrate AI agents like Cloud or GPT directly into your automation workflows without relying on cloud-based APIs. So instead of calling online AI services which may require API keys, have usage limit and incur additional cost as well, MCP lets you run the AI model locally on your computer. So let's get started. So first of all, here I'm going to show you that how you can create an MCP tool inside Pabli Connect. So you just have to open your workflow, you have to select the action step in which you want to set MCP server. So here, let's suppose I want to use MCP inside Google Chat. So I'm going to select my action application as Google Chat over here. And then here we have to select the action event that what we want to perform. So with the help of MCP, I want to send messages on my Google Chat. So I'm going to select create message. Now let's click on connect. We will quickly connect Google Chat with Pabli Connect over here. So to build the connection between Google Chat and Public Connect, we require Chat Webhook URL. For that, we have to click on this hyperlink. And when we'll scroll down here, we have the instructions. So we just need to copy this avatar URL. And then I will take you towards my Google Chat space on which I want to send the messages with the help of MCP. So after coming over here, you can see that we have the name of the space when we'll select it. Over here, we have apps and integrations. We have to select it and we have the webhook option. So we have to click on this add webhooks. We have to give a name to the webhook, let's say as new message. And I'm going to paste the avatar URL over here. Let's click on save. As we have done that, we have received the chat webhook URL, which we have to quickly copy and paste it inside our Pabli Connect account. So here we have to paste the chat webhook URL and then we have to enter the message. So here I'm going to send a default message as new message and that's it. Now we just have to click on save. As we have saved the step, now I'm going to show you that how you have to connect this action step with MCP. So here we have to select the three dots given over here on the action step and here we have add to MCP server. Let's select it. Now we have to provide a name to the MCP server tool. It should be kept in mind that you have to give the name in this particular format that you do not have to use any space in between. Also, you do not have to use capital letters. So here, let's say I'm going to give the name to my MCP server as new Google chat message. This is the name of my tool. Now we have to provide MCP tool description. So here you need to provide the detailed description for the tool that what is the purpose of this tool and what it is going to do for you. So I'm going to give the description as so I've entered, this tool will be used for sending important messages in my Google Chat space for my team members. So as I've entered the name and the description, I'm going to click on add. And here you can see that it is saying success, new Google Chat message is now created. So this is the name of our MCP tool. Now what you are supposed to do, you have to go towards your settings section inside Pabli Connect. And here we have to go towards MCP server. After coming over here, here we have our MCP server URL, which is required to set up this connection. And here we have used the MCP server URL to connect your MCP client with Pabli Connect. Do not share this URL with anyone as it functions like a password and can be used to access and run actions in your workflows. So basically this URL should be confidential and you do not have to share it with others. Now, in order to understand more, you have to click on this learn more hyperlink. It will take you towards a document where we will find all the instructions and step-by-step -step tutorial that how we need to set up our MCP tool and how we have to use MCP server. So after adding our action to MCP server, here we have to scroll down. It is saying configure your MCP tool. How we need to configure the MCP tool by providing the name and the description as we've already done. Now we have to scroll down. It is saying that access your MCP server URL. We have accessed the MCP server URL. Now after accessing the URL, here we have the steps of connecting Cloud Desktop to Pabli MCP server. So here as an 
an AI application. I am using Claude and here I'm going to show you step by step that how in order to set up your MCP server, you can set up your Claude desktop application. For that, before moving forward, it is saying in the prerequisite, make sure that Node.js is installed on the computer. Check the Node installation by running the following command. So before moving forward towards installing Claude desktop, you have to install Node.js. So you have to install the LTS version. You will select the LTS version over here. Then you have to select the OS. If you're using Windows, you can select Windows. If you're using Mac, you can select this Mac OS. Then here we have to select FNM and NPM. Now we'll simply click on Windows installer. The installation is started. As the installation is done, let's open it. And here we have to click on next. So we are providing the permission. Then we are going to click on next again. Here we will, if you want, you can change the program. I'm going to select it same. And I'm going to click on next, next. And here we have to provide some other permissions as well. Do you want to allow this app to make changes in your device? We have to click on yes over here. And here you can see that the installation is being completed. Let's click on finish and now it is going to take some more minutes. So we have to click on any key to continue. Again, we are going to click on a key and here once again we have to click on yes. As we have done that now, the installation is being completed and it will take more five minutes. And here we can see that the installation is completed. So I'm going to cross it. I will take you back towards Pabli Connect. Let's move forward towards connecting Claude Desktop to Pabli MCP server. In order to start the process, we have already installed Node.js, which is very important. And now we have to scroll down. It is saying update Claude Desktop configuration. For that, you have to open Claude Desktop application. Then we have to navigate to developer settings, open the configuration file for editing and add the following JSON configuration over there. Now I'm going to take you towards Claude Desktop configuration and we will learn entire steps. So in order to install Claude Desktop, you have to open this link in your browser and here you will select Windows. As soon as you will do that, the download will start Claude Setup. And you can see that Claude Desktop is installed. Now what you are supposed to do, you have to just go towards Get Started. You have to sign in with your account. And after signing to your cloud account, you are ready to go. So here, now we are going to go towards the three lines given over here. We have to click on file and here we have the option of settings. Let's select that. After coming over here, we have the option of developer and we have to click on this edit config. Here it has opened a cloud desktop configuration .json folder, which we have to open in notepad. And now as the notepad is open, you will go back towards Pabli Connect. And after coming back towards the learn more option of Pabli, here you can see that we got a JavaScript which we have to copy. And it is saying in the instructions, open the configuration file for editing, add the following JSON configuration over here and replace your MCP server URL with your actual MCP server URL. So inside my notepad, here I'm going to quickly enter the JSON script which we have received and now here in place of your mcp server url we have to replace it with our actual server url of mcp so here that we have got through pabli connect so let's copy the mcp server url and then we'll go back towards notepad and we'll quickly replace this your mcp server url with actual url which we have copied between the inverted commas all right now we have to save this file and as we have done that, now that is very important step. You have to restart your Claude desktop account. So I will take you back towards Claude. We are going to quickly cross it from everywhere. And even after you have closed Claude, you can see at the bottom over here, we have Claude working. So we have to right click over here. We have to click on quit. And now we have to move forward. So as we have completely closed Claude, now I'm going to once again open it in front of you. And as we have done that, as we have restarted Claude Desktop, you can see that tool is added over here, one MCP tool available. When I'm going to open it, it is saying available MCP tool and the name is given over here, new Google chat message. That means successfully we have set up our MCP server and we have connected Pabli Connect MCP with Claude. Now, whenever I'm going to command anything to my Claude related to my Google chat, automatically it will happen inside my Google chat. Let's suppose here I'm going to just command so here I have entered, please send a message on my Google chat space regarding the content meeting today at 6 p.m. 
you can see that here i haven't included anything related to on which google chat space it need to send a message i'm going to quickly click on enter and as i have done that you can see that it is saying i'll send a message to your google chat space about content meeting let me do that for you right now and here it is asking us for the permission so let's click on allow for this chat as soon as we have provided the permission here it is saying i have successfully sent the message to your google chat space the message reads like this when i'm going to take you back towards my google chat space here you can see that here we have received a message automatically reminder content meeting today at 6 pm please come prepared to discuss current project status and next steps looking forward to seeing everyone there so here you can see i haven't included anything in my prompt that i want to send the message on this marketing team but here i have received the message automatically and now in front of you i'm going to again type a message in cloud also share to bring laptops let's see whether again we are receiving a message or no and here you can see it is again saying that the message is being sent let's wait and it is saying i have sent the additional message to your google chat space so i will take you back towards my google chat space now and here we can see that yes again we have received a message automatically please remember to bring your laptops to the content meeting at 6 pm today we will be working on some collaborative tasks that will require them and that's so easy you can see that how quickly we have set up mcp server inside pavli connect and now every time we will command something to our cloud ai automatically that same message is going to be sent on our google chat space so we have quickly connected our workflow action step with mcp server and that's how very easily you can also set up and launch the mcp server inside pavli connect using cloud as your ai agent so whether you want to send smart replies to google chat messages adding structured data to your google sheets or summarizing leads or sharing posts on facebook page or twitter mcp gives you the flexibility to build powerful ai driven automations tailored to your business needs this setup is an ideal for non technical users as well as it avoids complex configuration and makes ai accessible inside your day to day workflows so with mcp you are not just automating you are adding intelligence to your automation so it's so easy i have just taken the example of google chat over here but in the similar manner you can connect n number of applications which you are using for your day to day work in order to connect mcp server inside pavli connect so i hope this connection is clear to you it is helpful for your business thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such amazing applications with the help of pavli connect now if you have any doubt you can email us at support@pavli.com if you want to ask any doubt you can write us at forum.pavli.com and if you want to ask about the pricing you You can visit this website given over here. Do not forget to share our videos, like our video, and also subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.